Today I will to present to you a new book of collect of the collection Novotu Oxford and Imagine. In the big city. Hello, my name is Ben. Hello, my name is Rosie. This is Grandpa. This is Grandpa's van. It's fantastic. Ben, Rosie's brother. Rosie, Ben's sister. Grandpa clung Grandpa's robot. Max, Ben's friend. Joe Travis. Now let's read this story in the big city. Where do you want to go today? asks Clunk. Tell him children, says Grandpa. To the big city, say Ben, Rosie and Max. Clunk taps some numbers on the van's computer. Let's go, he says. When the van stops, it's in a big city. There are lots of cars and buses and taxis. Wow, look at the tall buildings, says Rosie. Ben has a good book. Come on, he says. Some people on the street are pointing at Clunk. It is that a robot, asks a woman with a camera. It's not easy to have a robot in the, in the big city, says Grandpa. Clan, please, can you wait in the van after Grandpa and the children go? Clan sits in the van. He closes his eyes, says, so he doesn't see the two men at the windows. Clunk is listening to the radio. He doesn't hear the doors. When they open, I like this van, says one of the men. Let's steal it. The children like the big city. Ben sees a building that's the tallest building in the city, he says. We can go to the top and look at the city. Let's go, says Rosie. When they are at the top of the building, they can see lots of the city. Look at the cars, says Rosie. Look, it, look there, says Max. I can see Grandpa's van and it's moving. Where? asks Grandpa. Grandpa can see the van. This is a big city, Max, she says. There are lots of red and white vans here. He looks at his watch. It's time to, for us to go home. Come on, we can take a taxi to the van. Max is right about the van. It is moving, but Clunk doesn't know it. He's listening to the radio. His eyes are out open. At the front of the van, one of the chiefs sees the computer. What's this? He asks. He chief hits the computer with his finger. Then, we're in the sky. Then, we we're in the sky. He shoots. Hit that computer again, says his friend. Kick. There are some lights in front of the van and then now we are on a mountain the the chief hits the computer again and again where are we now he asks we are in a river shots his friend no we are in a game of soccer 
No, we are on the moon. Help! In the city, Grandpa and the children get out of their taxi. We're here, says Grandpa. But where's the van? Speak to Clunk on your cell phone, Grandpa, says Ben. Good idea, says Grandpa, and he takes out his cell phone. Oh. Out his cell phone. Clunk doesn't hear the cell phone, but he can feel it. He opens his eyes says, and sees the two chivers. Who are you? See. See. Thieves. Who are you? He asks. There's no time for an answer. A big train is coming at the van. Help! Shoot the thieves. They close their eyes. Clunk jumps up fast and goes to the computer. There are more lights. And then the van is in the city again. Slowly, one of the thieves opens an eye. Where's the train? he asks. His friend opens his eyes and sees Clunk. A robot! he shouts. The two men jump out of the van and run. I don't want to steal a van ever, ever again. They shout. That's good, says a woman in blue clothes. A police officer. Clothes. A police officer. Clunk drives the van to the right street. Grandpa and the children are waiting for him there. Clunk stops the van and opens the doors. Give me that. Opens the door. Where were you? Clunk, Grandpa asks. Were you at the store? No, says Clunk. I wasn't at the store. Where were you in the park? asks Rosie. I was on a mountain, says Clunk. Then I was in a river. Then I was on the moon. What? says Max. Clunk tells them about his busy afternoon in the van.